When businesses closed because of COVID-19, Miami's night scene was no exception. Zoom clubs like the Saddest Spiral give a night owl experience from home. The Saddest Spiral started like at a club and then it just kind of like went on to Zoom, but the, it's grown way bigger than it was when I was like doing it in person. And like at my party, it's kind of just like whatever happens, like happened. That's what feels like a club to me. Virtual clubs like the Spiral have grown a loyal following that includes Miami locals. It's no surprise considering that there are over 60,000 clubs and similar businesses in the U.S. Some of the club's attendees say they prefer the virtual club alternative and find that getting ready is a way to remind themselves of what used to be. Well, usually I haven't been doing anything at home lately, and so I get like a little bit of anxiety. So this is something to look forward to. While the Saddest Spiral is free to attend over Zoom, it has also been a platform for people to donate to causes related to Pride Month and social movements. Three weeks of the party, like all the money was going to like black organizations and like black trans organizations. And we raised like almost like $20,000. While reopening plans for clubs are still uncertain, some people who used to go to clubs before are hesitant to go back once they reopen. I don't want to get sick as soon as everything reopens because it's kind of like counterproductive with the whole process. People are not ready to like go to a club yet. Like it's just not safe for everybody. So like, um, I think this is going to be going on for like a, a while. For now, clubs like the one behind me will remain closed, but virtual clubs will keep the party going online. You can find more information on their social media pages. For the South Florida Media Network, Jesse Perez.